telescope goldfish which you see here belongs to the family of Cyprinidae. They are a bizarre looking fish with its eyes perched on top of long cone-like bases that extend out from the sides of its head. The eyes are the most intriguingly curious characteristic of the telescopic goldfish. Their large eyes are set on top of long telescope-like cone-like stalks mounted on the sides of its head. It is believed that telescopic goldfish, which were first developed in China in the early 1700s and were called as dragon eyes or dragon fish. This one is Oratius cichlid, Melochromis oratus, a freshwater fish of the cichlid family. It's also known as Golden Mubana and Malawi Golden Cichlid. It is endemic to the southern region of Lake Malawi. They are small, elongate fish that can grow up to 11 centimeters. Juveniles and females are bright yellow with black and white stripes on the upper half of the body. Adult male coloration is drastically different with dark brown body and gray stripes on the upper half of the body. Here comes electric blue cichlid, also an aggressive blue-colored fish. A native of Africa is Lake Malawi. It's also farmed raised in the U.S. The electric blue African cichlid creates a gorgeous, colorful focal point in the freshwater aquarium. It has the typical sleek bullet-shaped body common to the cichlid family. The active electric blue African cichlid seems equally content guarding its territory and pursuing the perimeter of the aquarium. This is a semi-aggressive red parrot belonging to the Cichlidae family. This orange-red are mainly farm raised in the US. The red parrot is sometimes referred to as blood red parrot and is a result of cross-breeding different Central American cichlids. The body of this fish is round in shape with a beak-shaped nose. African cichlids are found in the East African Lake Malawi and areas surrounding Hongai Island. Synonymous names are Red Top Kimpuma, Hongai Red Top and Hongi Super Red Top. Hongi naturally occurs in the east coast of Lake Malawi in the Tanzanian zone. The coloration of this fish differs depending on its mood. Dorsal fins are also range in color from yellow to orange. The colors of the dominant male can be quite exquisite, including orange blaze and cream lilac coloring. The red cap oranda goldfish or Carceus oratus is another scintillating beauty of the aquarium ramp. Its origin is in Asia, China and Japan and belongs to the Cyprinidae family. The red cap oranda is one of the several varieties of what is commonly known as goldfish, Carceus oratus. The red cap oranda is typically metallic scaled fish. The round stingray or Rabatus holeri you see here is an aggressive fish belonging to the Eastern Pacific temperament. Aggressive belonging to the family of Europhilidae. The round stingray is also known as the California stingray. It is a bottom dwelling fish with a brown body and yellow spots. The tail spine is venomous but is also used for protection.
This is the red-tailed butterfly fish. This fish originated from Pakistan and is also found in Indonesia, the Philippines and the Indian Ocean. This fish is generally difficult to keep as a pet and this is probably because the natural diet consists mainly of coral polyps. Meet the Korean angelfish. This Caribbean origin is extremely popular. The body color is yellow and green that bleeds from light to dark, moving front to back along the body. Lighter areas are speckled blue while darker areas have a more yellow speckled appearance. The head is plain yellow green with sapphire blue gills, margins and eye rings. The fins are also outlined in sapphire blue. The juvenile is black and white and blue stripes. The Humu Picasso triggerfish, also known as a triggerfish or the Picasso triggerfish, has a wacky painted appearance. It has a tanned body with gradient dark bands and vibrant blue and black stripes on the top of the head with a yellow stripe from cheek to cheek and deeply set back eyes. The Humu Picasso triggerfish needs a varied diet of meaty foods including squids, krills, clams, small fish and hard shelled shrimps to help wear down their ever growing teeth. The yellow-tailed damselfish is extremely hard and gorgeously colored. In fact, the Chirispetra parasima is considered to be the ultimate damselfish. This is partly because of its jewel blue body is contrasted by an energizing yellow tail. But what pleases most is that the yellow-tailed damsel is less aggressive and does not need a large aquarium as other damsels. Also known as yellow-tailed demoiselle, this fish lives on zooplankton and algae in the aquarium. For best care, it should also be fed with a varied diet of meaty food such as mices and vitamin-enriched shrimps. It is best to feed several small meals throughout the day. The severum you see here is a popular large cichlid with a quiet peaceful disposition. Their gold form is an aquarium produced strain and is nicely golden yellow from a young age. They usually grow up to 15 to 20 centimeters. More than 225 species with estimates of 300 species of cichlids are found throughout South America. An estimated 75% of this inhabit the mighty Amazon River Basin. This cardinal tetra, or Parachuturan axularae, is another beauty of the aquarium. This piece of fish is blue or red and are farm raised in South America. Belonging to the Caricidae family, cardinal tetra brings delicate beauty to any home. Its bright blue stripes contrasted by a lower red stripe that runs through the entire length of its body. It is native to the slow-moving waters of the various well-vegetated tributaries in South America. This is Oscar fish. It's a very intelligent fish that can recognize its owner. The heavily built Oscar is an all-time favorite among aquarium hobbies. Originally imported from South America, most Oscars for sale are now tank bred. The Oscar fish has its own ideas on how to decorate when he considers his home. He will grab any object including small rocks and plants and spit them out of the tank if he doesn't like them. What you have seen is a small fraction of the world's aquarium beauties. Hope you enjoyed watching them. 
we shall be presenting more of these beauties another time. Till then, it's goodbye. Thank you.